my name's Nadia. Um, I'm here from Radical Reptiles and I am going to show you guys some really, really cool animals. We have Honey and now Honey is a beautiful water python. Hi Honey, you want some cuddles do you? Now Honey um, is a very significant snake to some of the indigenous people of Australia. She possesses this magic, oh, it's, it's absolutely beautiful, this rainbow sheen through her. Now, um, some indigenous people will class her as one of their rainbow serpents. Um, so really, really significant snake. So, honey, what did you have to eat last week? You had some rats and a little bit of chicken. So honey is a meat eater. Now, in the wild, she'll tend to go for water birds, um, mammals, um, she loves to eat frogs and other reptiles, okay? So being a water python, um, anything that she can come across um, along those waterways. So the next animal that we're going to meet guys, we've got the beautiful shiggleback or the sleepy lizard or the bobtail lizard. Okay, there's many names for these guys. Um, they are part of the skink family and I've actually got um, two here. One is a female and one is a male. These guys here are very closely related to the common uh, blue tongue skink, the eastern blue tongue we find down here in South Australia. So again, part of the skink family. You're sticking that tongue out. It's a bit hard for you today, isn't it, mate? Because there's not much sun around. So what does the shingleback eat? These animals, they love their insects. So here we feed them mealworms, we feed them superworms, crickets, woodies, um, lots of different, even worms from the garden we find, um, and we certainly, you know, offer them to the, to the skinks. Um, they will also eat fruits and vegetables. So they're actually really good at eating your fruits and vegetables, aren't you, hey? And sometimes they will eat a little bit of minced meat as well. So we offer that, um, you know, every second or third feeding. Now, what's your favorite food, Spunks? Hey, should I tell them? It's banana. Now, when she's been a really good girl, which is most days, I reckon just about every day, um, she gets a little bit of banana, um, perhaps a little bit of strawberry, blueberries are a favourite too, and also kale. Okay, so those items are really good for her. Um, any of the fruits and vegetables that she eats must be varied though. Okay, so she's not allowed to have banana every day. That's like lollies every day, isn't it? We can't do that. That's not good for us. So, check out what one of my mates has just left me. Did you know that all reptiles shed their skin? They all do it differently and they must do it throughout their whole lifespan. So here we have a diamond python shed. Check this out, isn't this cool? So imagine how much energy it takes for these guys to wiggle out of that old skin. Now, does anyone know what this is made out of? You wouldn't believe it. It's called keratin and it's the same substance as our hair and our fingernails. Now all of our reptile mates, they all shed, they all do it differently. So Batman here, he will shed in little tiny pieces. So really, really fascinating stuff. And lots of animals have keratin as parts of their body. Yeah.